Alrighty, here again, I've got uh, a Daisy power line, model 45 CO2. If you can see it or not, probably not. It's dual action, pellet pistol. I'm going to check this one out, um, see what kind of accuracy you can expect out of it. Unfortunately, uh, because of the clips that it comes with, I know you're not going to be able to see this, so I apologize. But right here, where the clips, where the pellets load in, there is like a detent in the plastic where the pellet fits through, and it's shaped like a hollow point pellet. Now, I do not think you're going to be able to see that. Maybe you can, I don't know. But anyways, if you don't have a pellet that's shaped exactly like that, it won't, it won't fit in here. So you're limited to the ammunition you can run through it, unless of course you potentially file down, cut, whatever, modify the pellet loading system here then you might be able to run some different ammo in it and get a little bit better results but for now what I'm running is I got uh, I don't even know who makes it but it's the PBA ammo it's a super super light titanium or something I don't know it's they're garbage and every other gun I've ever shot them from they're garbage but they fit because they're all because they're um flat flat nosed they fit down here so um, I'm gonna use them I got 12, 15 rounds, not quite sure, loaded up to that, and then I've got this one, I've got these, uh, I don't know, you might be able to see that, daisies, the daisy uh, hollow point, super cheap, easy, and another one, they barely, they fit down there, so that's what we're going to go, we'll start off with the daisy hollow points, so we'll work our way over to the lighter ones and see if there's a big difference, but uh, load these up. We'll get them rocking and rolling and uh, see what happens. Alrighty, let's enjoy. Here we go. I'm gonna be going at the top left target, or top right target, I'm sorry. sure that you can see what's going on. Here we go. First, uh, just make a quick adjustment real quick. Doing it backwards now. Just screwing it up, making it worse. Get too picky. Good enough. Leave it. All right, here we go. Cracking the CO2, punctured, ready to rock. I'll go to the first, and I'll just do double action. Single action. Here we go. Actually, hear the CO2 leaking on this one. I can already tell you. I do not. I'm not a fan of this. This one. Oh, it was one round left in there. My bad. Not a fan. I mean, it works and all, but it's about all it does. Function here. Got function junction. Weapon jam. Not a safety issue either.
Try again. The next pellet's jammed too. Not a, not a big fan of this one. Seems to be issue after issue. Here we go. Jam again. Not sure why. Pellet didn't feed, that's why. Yeah. Oh, these lighter pellets do not like the gun, that's for sure. They do not, they're just mashing up in here. bounce back and hit the wall. Yep, they're just jamming. I can't even use them. So the lighter pellets, the super light titanium ones, or whatever the hell they are, they're, they're not working. They're just jamming up in the gun. And they're so... Let's see if I can show you this. They're so... Uh... You see that? Now I might be able to show you the talking about when it comes to the shape of the pellet here. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is terrible. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, right here. These pellets are just, they're mashing. They're just, they're so soft that they're getting squished at the slightest touch. I mean, I just barely touched it and it's, it's just molding. It's just nothing to it. So, those ones will not work out of the gun. They will work, but they're not going to work great. Not enough to the point where you want to try to use it anyways. So, this pistol is out of the question. I'm just going to reload it up here. Test the CO2. Um, the, re the reasons why it's out of the question without even firing more shots, there's not even in any sense wasting my ammunition. But I'll explain it to you right here, what's going on. Alright, well anyways, the trigger on this is awful. It's absolutely awful. If you use it as a two-stage and you're, you're going to draw the hammer back, it is so difficult to do. It can be done, and it doesn't let go at the same place every time. It's so undetermined where it goes. Now, the next part about it is even when you've got it cocked back and you're ready just to... It's still, the trigger is so... Oh, you got to put so much work into it. You got to squeeze it until it can't almost go back anymore. I mean, it comes all the way back, all the way back. And I'm, I'm squeezing like a man. The sad thing is, there isn't even any pellets in here. When you actually start feeding pellets in here, and the pellets are working against you, it's even worse. I mean, there was multiple times where I felt like I couldn't even pull it back, and I had to readjust my grip to get it back. So, and I can hear the CO2 is leaking slowly but surely out of this one. I don't know if it is out of the other one. Let's check it. This other one here. Let's see if it's on. Still got CO2. Yeah. So, you know what? Great gun in concept. Super cool. Feels like a little 45. Looks good. But, I mean. Kind of garbage. You can't really get any amount of accuracy out of this. I'm gonna have to go shoot that. Shoot whatever the dog's barking at, or she's not gonna stop barking. So, anyways, this is the video. Hope you almost enjoyed. I don't even know if I got any hits on target down there. Two, maybe if I'm lucky. Well, there's quite a few just high though. So I mean, it has potential. It's not completely inaccurate. But, alrighty, well, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, <laughs> look at that, I even got a few down there in that shooting, I wasn't even shooting at it, and I got a bullseye down there, and there's one, like, oh Christ, that was all over the place, yeah, that, with a spread of like five and a half, well, that's probably like 12 inches, you might have five and a half, six inches there, eight maybe, not too bad. Very tolerable. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Holiday weekend.